Are you shooting whites in NBA 2K21? Are you struggling to get a big green Mr. Clean on NBA 2K21? Are you wondering why you're not getting your shooting badges up? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, this is the video for you. So drop a like right now and let's get into it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chon back on the mic. Don't forget to go ahead and drop a like, man. Today, we're going to be diving deep into the secrets about shooting in NBA 2K21. Some of you guys may know some of this stuff, some of you guys may not. Some of it's pretty obvious stuff, but there's just a lot of confusion going around right now with regards to shooting in NBA 2K21. Shooting has been very struggle. You know, it's been hard recently. But, you know, today, hopefully, we're going to dive into it, see what the problem is here, why nobody's making jump shots, and hopefully, by the end of this, you guys will learn a little something about shooting in the game, and, uh, yeah, man, so before we jump into it, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button with, if you're new, turn your post notifications on, and let's get right into it, bro. Alright, so to start off, bro, the first thing you need is a good jump shot. And what I mean by jump shot is not the jump shot your favorite YouTuber told you to put on and you'll get instantly greens. No, I'm talking about a jump shot that you yourself can handle and that you feel comfortable with. That is what I mean. But when I say I, you need a good jump shot. So for me, my jump shot that I use is Steph Curry pure because that jump shot has worked for me for like the past two, three years now. And today, it's like I just know the timing of that jump shot. It is my jump shot. I don't like, you know, it's it's better that you choose a jump shot you know yourself rather than a jump shot that you're, you know, like I said, your your favorite YouTuber is like put this on and you'll green because you'll put on the jump shot, have no idea how to time it, and then you're gonna start complaining like, oh, why am I missing shots? So that's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is badges, bro. You need badges on NBA 2K. It's like it's just that simple, you know what I mean? You can't be out here shooting with no badges. Now listen, I don't have badges myself like that. I only got like Hall of Fame range extender and I think like some other green machine or some other badge like that. I don't have much badges, right? But I know that once I hop in the mic or start getting my badges, I'm gonna be straight. Because it's the same thing every 2K. I don't know if you guys have realized. Every 2K, it's the same exact thing. The year starts. Think about 2K20, for example. At the start of 2K20, everyone was missing shots, right? Everyone was bricking shots. Everyone was shooting, you know, the same casual 2 for 16 or whatever, right? And then once people start to get their badges, they got a feel of the game. They got a flow of how everything is going. You know, the jump shots started to go in more. People start to hit their shots more. The game started to be more consistent. And then eventually, you know, I mean, it, it, everyone took off their meter. And everyone was just, you know, casually just playing good on the game. It's going to be the same thing with 2K20 on I am telling you. In two weeks, bro. I'm at like two weeks max probably. You know, once people start to get their badges up, everyone gets their maximum badges. They know their jump shots. You, we're gonna be straight all right we're gonna be straight so that's the second thing you need you gotta make sure you have your badges all right another thing you need another thing you need to do this is like a small thing if you're like an off ball player this is just something that I've, has worked for me a lot just when you're playing park is dexing dexing this year is better than it has ever been on 2k and it is so effective if you have a center that sets you in like a good off ball screen and you can dex around that screen you will be open so like you will be so wide open it is crazy use dexes to your ability use it to your power this year it is so overpowered if you if you're like the second ball handler dude and you're like the spot up not even a spot up just 
like you know just the second um player on the team that is the shooter and you get, yeah and you have a guy that's handling the ball run around off ball screens and i promise you you will green every single time it is so easy and so simple bro Alright guys, so the next thing on the list is quick stopping. It's it's like it's you need to know how to quick stop on this game, or mo you're gonna you're gonna end up fading or taking a leaning shot. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Have you ever had that situation where you try to shoot the ball and your guy takes a crazy fade and a spinning shot or whatever, and your green window gets absolutely fried? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You need to learn how to quick stop. It's very simple, so easy this year. You literally just have to use the L2 button. So or LT if you're on Xbox. So as you guys know. Quick stopping is so important in the game and a lot of people have been having trouble with quick stopping this year and getting their feet set while they're about to take a jump shot. So all you need to do this year to quick stop is so simple guys. Just tap L2 or LT right before you shoot. Your guy will have a little stutter step which is the quick stop animation and you just let it fly bro and you shoot it. I'm going to put some clips up on screen of me doing it in the my court just to show you guys what it looks like and to know like if you guys are doing it right to notice what is happening. So like I said quick stopping um a lot of people have asked me how do you quick stop this year because it's not the same this that's literally all you have to do just you have to use l2 this year just tap l2 your guy will quick stop then just let it fly and just shoot it man so that's all you gotta do for the quick stop um it's as simple as that tap l2 let it fly and yeah man all right guys we're almost done here so the next method on the list that you're going to want to take into account when you're playing the game is don't open the game just shooting threes right away i know that may be the thing you want to do just kind of open the game and just start shooting threes but honestly bro that's not what you want to do because hear me out especially at the start of the game when not much people have their badges yet people are still getting used to the new gameplay the new jump shots you guys okay listen let's say you miss all right sometimes you'll obviously make it but let's say you open the game miss you miss your first two three three pointers your green window is closed already, alright? Your green window gets smaller, you're gonna become cold, obviously, which lowers all your stats. And at that point, it's way harder to get back into the game. By that point, especially if you're playing twos, they probably already have 10, 20, or sorry, 10, like 15 points on you. Because you gave them the ball so much, so much, so many times. If you're on threes, maybe not, you won't take as much of a penalty. But your green window is going to be closed. It's going to be a lot harder for you to make the shots back. So what I suggest to you guys, start the game with a mid-range. Start it with some layups. Get your takeover bar filled up a bit. Um, and you will see that it's going to be easier to make shots because as you get more closer to take over your green window opens up your chance of making shots gets bigger and one more key thing that must most people don't most people don't even use i use it all the time is flashy passer bro you guys need to t bro the flashy passer badge is so good for helping you get takeover and helping you open up that green window it's crazy especially if you guys play with the meter off when you get that five percent boost throw okay so listen if you're playing with a playmaker, so how I do my lineup, we run with a pure playmaker, we run with me on my sharp, and we run with a glass lock. So, the playmaker, so I dex around the off-ball screens, like I told you guys before, use dexes this year, they are overpowered. Use dex around off-ball screens, and then the playmaker sends me a flashy pass using the flashy passer badge. Every flashy pass you send, you will get like half your takeover, the takeover bar you'll get to like the A and takeover. It gives you so much takeover, guys. It's absolutely crazy. So tell your playmaker to put on flashy passer. It doesn't care. I don't care if it's on gold or hall of fame. Gold or hall of fame are the ideal ones, but you need one of those two at least. When you get a flashy pass, you will get so much takeover. Your green window is going to open up. You're going to have so much more shot um, opportunity percentages. And once you're in takeover, you guys already know how takeover get down. You're like, you're unstoppable once you get takeover pretty much. You feel me? So that's what you need to do. Um use the flashy passer badge all right use the flashy passer badge do not open the game taking threes right away if you're not confident with your jump shot yet you're gonna create cold spots you we don't want cold spots you're gonna create a lot of bad stuff that is just not good for the game you don't you don't need to be having cold spots this early in the game it's gonna be really hard to get hot spots if you already get it cold does that make sense all right one more thing is that the um the cold spots and the hot spots transfer from my career to park this year so if you get hot spots in my career, as soon as you hop in the park, you'll have the same hot spots. So get in the my career, put on pro difficulty, and just chuck and green. Chuck and green. They released a hot fix that makes it easier to shoot in those game modes. So that's gonna be so much easier. Sadly, they didn't make the hot fix work in park, but it, it works in my career. So use it to your advantage. Use it to get your badges easier. Use it to get your hot zones easier. And that's all you gotta do, bro. That's really all you gotta do, man. 
but yeah those are just a few of my tips that i have for you guys as always if this video was helpful in any way please be a, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video and subscribe to this channel with notifications on if there's any more tips you guys want whether it's dribbling stamina all that stuff comment down below i'll be sure to drop a video on it um let me know if these methods have helped yourself if you learned anything if you learned how to quick stop better if you learned how to use your takeover and your hotspots to the best of your abilities if this has helped you in any way let me know down in the comment section but as always guys it's been your boy chomp on the mic wash your hands don't touch your face and i'm out bro